Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with JSON data in the command line. Our viewer wants to know how to get a new line on every iteration when using JQ. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To achieve a new line on every iteration in JQ, we need to modify our command slightly. Let's start by looking at the original command you used. When you run this command in the terminal, it outputs each name on a new line. However, when you assign it to a variable in a shell script, it appears on a single line. To fix this, we can use the new line character in our JQ command. Instead of just extracting the names, we can format the output to include a new line. The Nash R option in JQ stands for raw output. This means it will output the names without quotes and with new lines between them. Now, if you run your shell script again with this modified command, each name will be displayed on a new line as intended. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To ensure each JSON value is on a separate line, you can use a robust approach with JQ. This method handles embedded spaces and special characters effectively. Here's how it works. The command extracts the login and ID from the JSON file, then iterates through each pair, printing them in a formatted way. And that's it, guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And, you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time, guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.